In 2021, HP was the second biggest brand in terms of realized sales, which is quite impressive. However, in 2022 we see competitors innovate more and more, so the US company definitely has its work cut out. The Pavilion Plus 14 is a new addition to the brand's portfolio, finally bringing 16 to 10 displays to a more affordable price point. HP is taking sustainability seriously, using 100% recycled aluminum for the whole laptop. This not only lowers the carbon footprint but also makes for a more premium machine. Durability is another story, however, as we saw some flexing from the lid, while twisting the base results in the touchpad registering clicks. However, most of you don't go about twisting lids and bending bases, so overall you will be okay with the pavilion. Where it shines is with its portability, weighing only 1.4 kilograms and having a profile of 18.4 millimeters. While the lid is bendy, it opens with one hand revealing the keyboard, which has decently sized keys, except for the arrow ones, which are smaller. Despite the thin profile, we get long key travel and clicky feedback, making typing very comfortable. The touchpad is massive and doesn't use glass, however, the material is still very smooth and tracking is accurate. The port selection is pretty good, considering the smaller stature of the device. Most of the bases are covered, with the left side housing an audio jack, one 5 gigabit USB Type-A port, and a micro SD card slot. On the opposite end, we see one more USB port of the same type, an HDMI 2.0 port, and two 10 gigabit USB Type-C ports with charging support plus DisplayPort 1.4 and data transfer capabilities. The Pavilion Plus 14 offers quality displays, with either a 2.2K IPS panel or a 2.8K OLED panel with a 90Hz refresh rate. We tested the 2.2K variant, which is a perfect fit for a 14-inch device. It reaches 357 nits of brightness and has an amazing contrast ratio of 1940 to 1. The panel shows 93% sRGB coverage, along with very good color accuracy with our design and gaming profile. We'll have links to the profile in the description, which you'll want to check out for sure if you're serious about design and color work. The device has a 51 watt hours battery pack which lasts for 7 hours and 34 minutes of web browsing, or 5 hours and 43 minutes of video playback, which isn't ideal, so you might want to bring the 65 watts charger with you. Thankfully, it's small enough, so it won't be much of a hassle. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. We got these results with the Core i5-1235U, which is the least powerful chip that's available. You can go as high as the Core i7-12700H, going back to the i5, it's a bit lacking in performance when compared to the MSI Modern 14, the Acer Aspire Vero, and the IdeaPad 5 from Lenovo. On the GPU end, we rely on the MX550, while the RTX 2050 is also available. Compared to integrated graphics, the MX550 will do better in games, while it can also work in tandem with the iGPU to accelerate productivity workloads. The MX550 will be able to play recent AAA titles, however, you'd have to adjust the settings accordingly, playing at low or medium at best. It even runs Cyberpunk at sub 50 FPS at low, so gaming isn't out of the question. Our new Laptop Media Benchmarks channel goes above and beyond to put the most popular laptop graphics through numerous games, so it's definitely a viable resource if you want to see how a certain GPU does in a particular game. Keeping the CPU and GPU cool is a setup with two heat pipes, two fans, and one long heatsink. The thermal management is very conservative, as the CPU runs at 65 degrees Celsius and at only 20 watts. This leads to lower clock speeds, which is generally HP's way with business machines. The GPU performed quite better, 
keeping a consistent 1400 MHz speed even after 30 minutes. The laptop is very quiet under full load and the base doesn't heat up significantly to cause discomfort. While portable, the Pavilion Plus 14 is also not very upgradable, offering up to 16GB of soldered DDR4 RAM. Accessing the storage is much better, with one M.2 slot which supports super fast generation 4 drives. We have a detailed teardown video, which we'll link in the description. It goes step by step, so you're covered if you want to take a look inside the Pavilion. The Pavilion Plus 14 is a nice attempt from HP to introduce some modern features to its mostly cookie-cutter laptops. The laptop doesn't have the best battery life, however, we'll excuse it mostly due to the aluminum build and the great display on the front. If you want a thorough look at the Pavilion Plus 14, go over to our website and read our detailed review.